Cleaning your entire house in just one hour might sound like an overwhelming task, but with a well-organized plan, it's definitely achievable. Here's a minute-by-minute -minute breakdown to help you efficiently clean your house within the given time frame. Now let's look at how to clean your entire house in one hour. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I blog and make videos about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. You can find my free printables to help you get organized in the drop-down menu under the printables category over at dmiddleton.com. Today, I'll cover how to clean your entire house in one hour. You can get your printable daily housekeeping routine and cleaning checklists here at the link in this video description. This 15-page printable kit is delivered digitally to your email for you to print and personalize. It includes a daily schedule, calendar pages, and deep cleaning checklists for every room and area of your home. Be sure to subscribe here and stay tuned to the end of this video for more cleaning and organizing tips. Today, I'll show you how to clean your entire house in one hour. I will cover a basic weekly cleaning list. However, if you have a really dirty house that has not been cleaned in a while, this may not work for you, but I can help. The key here is having a basic daily housekeeping schedule that you complete in a few minutes each day. I am referring to basic upkeep. If you do not have a housekeeping schedule, I have a free ebook I will link below to help you create one based on your needs. First five minutes, gather your supplies. Start by collecting all the cleaning supplies you'll need. This includes multi-purpose cleaner, microfiber cloths, a mop, vacuum cleaner, trash bags, and any other cleaning tools you prefer. Having everything ready will save you from running back and forth during the cleaning process. Now go spray your surfaces in your kitchen and bathroom to let them soak while you clean other places. Spray your sinks, tubs, showers, toilet, stovetop, and any messy surface that needs to soak. Don't wipe these yet. You are just letting the cleaning product do the work. Next five minutes, declutter living spaces. Begin in the living areas. Quickly go through each room and gather any misplaced items. Place them in designated bins or baskets. Focus on surfaces like coffee tables, countertops, and shelves. The goal is to clear the space so that you can easily clean surfaces. If you aren't sure where something goes, place it in a laundry basket to revisit later. Don't waste time. Next 10 minutes, dusting and wiping surfaces. Grab a microfiber cloth and start dusting surfaces in each room. Wipe down tables, countertops, and other visible surfaces. Don't forget to dust electronics, picture frames, and other decorative items. If needed, use a multi-purpose cleaner for stubborn spots. You can make quick work of dusting by using a duster. Unless the surfaces are dirty or sticky, the duster should be enough. Next 10 minutes, vacuuming and sweeping. Move on to the floors. Vacuum carpets and rugs in the living areas and bedrooms. For hard floors, use a broom or a vacuum cleaner suitable for the surface. Pay attention to high traffic areas and corners. This step will freshen up the entire space. You can try my DIY all-purpose floor cleaner here at the link in this video description. Next 10 minutes, kitchen cleanup. Focus on the kitchen during this time frame. Remember, if you sprayed these areas down in step one, this should help eliminate the need to scrub. Quickly clear any dishes and wipe down countertops and appliances. If you have a dishwasher, load any dirty dishes into it. Clean the sink and stove area. Don't forget to sweep or vacuum the kitchen floor. Focus on the exterior of your appliances. Don't clean the interior unless you have extra time. Remember, we are cleaning the entire house in one hour. If you have more time, you can always come back to revisit the interiors. Next five minutes, bathroom blitz. Now it's time to tackle the bathroom. Because you already sprayed your surfaces in step one, this should be easy work now. Wipe down sinks, countertops, and mirrors. Clean the toilet and replace the toilet paper if needed. Quickly scrub the bathtub or shower. This time slot just covers one bathroom. If you have multiple bathrooms, focus on the most frequently used ones. You may have to allocate more time here if you have more than one bathroom to clean. Next 10 minutes, bedroom touch-up. Return to the bedrooms and make any final touches. Straighten up pillows, fold blankets, and tidy bedside tables. If time allows, quickly vacuum or sweep the bedroom floors. Ensure that personal items are in their designated places. Minute 5560, final check and trash disposal. Take the last few minutes to do a quick walkthrough of your home. Check for any missed spots or items out of place. Empty trash bins in all rooms and replace the liners. Congratulations, you did it! By following this minute-by-minute -minute breakdown, you should be able to clean your entire house efficiently within one hour. Adjustments can be made based on the size of your home and the specific cleaning needs of each room. 
If my house is too large to clean in one hour, how much extra time should I devote to cleaning each room? The amount of extra time you should devote to cleaning each room depends on various factors, such as the size of each room, the level of cleanliness required, and your cleaning efficiency. Here are some general guidelines that might help you plan your cleaning time. Prioritize rooms. Identify which rooms require more thorough cleaning and prioritize them. Focus on high traffic areas or places that tend to get dirtier faster. Time allocation. Break down the total cleaning time based on the number of rooms and their respective sizes. For example, if you have four rooms and your goal is to spend two hours cleaning, allocate 30 minutes per room. Complexity and size. Larger rooms or spaces with more furniture and items may require more time. Adjust the time allocation accordingly. Frequency of cleaning. If it's been a while since the last cleaning, the initial cleaning might take longer. Consider doing a deep clean for the first session and then maintaining with shorter cleaning sessions. Efficiency. As you become more familiar with your cleaning routine and develop efficiency, you may find that you can clean certain rooms faster over time. Adjust your time allocation based on your improving cleaning skills. Task batching. Group similar tasks together. For example, dusting multiple rooms consecutively may save time compared to switching between different cleaning activities. Delegate tasks. If possible, delegate specific cleaning tasks to family members or roommates. This can help reduce the overall time needed for cleaning. Regular maintenance. Regularly maintaining cleanliness in your home can make each cleaning session more manageable. Quick, daily tasks can prevent the need for extensive cleaning sessions. Remember that these are general guidelines and your specific situation may vary. Experiment with different time allocations and adjust based on your experience and preferences. If you need to do more deep cleaning, I have checklists and guides to help you with that over at dmiddleton.com or at the link below. I have a housekeeping ebook entitled Make Over Your Homemaking. If housekeeping is an area that you struggle with, this ebook will guide you in creating your own housekeeping schedule. I try to cover everything from balancing your bank balance to cleaning your kitchen. I will link that information for you in this video description. If you are looking to get more organized, I can help with that too. I blog and make videos about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. If you find it a struggle to get organized, there is likely a good reason why. As a matter of fact, I explore 11 reasons you fail to get organized over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. If one of these 11 reasons sound familiar to you, I will give you some tips to overcome that obstacle and finally get organized. I will link this information below. You can find my free printables to help you get organized in the drop-down menu under the printables category over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. If you are drowning in clutter, let me help inspire you. Clutter doesn't have to ruin your space. We are going to banish it. I do a year-long thorough declutter series on the blog. In this series, we declutter 30 minutes a day, five days a week. If that is something you need to do, join me at the link in this video description. You will receive a daily task and a weekly email. By the time you complete the series, you will have decluttered every room and space in your home. I have declutter lists for each room over at dmiddleton.com. I want to inspire you to create a home for everything and make your housework more manageable and less time-consuming. Once the clutter is gone, you will spend far less time cleaning it. So don't keep things around that take up your valuable space and time. Declutter it. Check out the links below to get started. Thanks for watching.